In this video, you're going to learn another type of classification of differential equations, but a very, very important one, which is classification based on linearity. That means linear differential equations versus nonlinear differential equations. Okay, but before we move on there, let's talk about linear equations that we have seen before. What is the first linear equation that you saw? How do you write a linear equation? Remember, do you remember? We write it as y is equal to mx plus c, right? Now, what is so special about y is equal to mx plus c? What does it represent? If you plot y versus x, what do you get? You get a straight line, right? So this is an equation of a straight line. All right, so that is exactly what linearity means. So the relationship between these two variables is a straight line. We can be represented as a straight line. Now, one more important thing, what type of a variable is y? Is it a dependent variable? Is it an independent variable? y is the dependent variable, right? So let's call it d dot v. And x is the independent variable. So if you plot dependent variable versus independent variable, I get a straight line and that's exactly what linearity means in simple equations that we have learned before. All right, so le let's look at another equation. y is equal to x square. Now, is this a linear equation? That means if you plot y versus x, do you get a straight line? Pause the video and think. No, we don't, right? If you plot it, you get a parabola. Now, this is not a straight line. So we call this a nonlinear differential equation, simply not linear. Okay, so then how do you really identify? Can you can you guess can you get some sort of a hint about to identify whether a given equation a linear one or a nonlinear one? How about y is equal to x cube? Is it linear or nonlinear? What do you think? It's nonlinear because if you graph y versus x, you don't get a straight line. But there's a cool relationship, cool similarity between nonlinear equations. How about the power of x? Think about the power of x. If it is greater than 1, do you get a linear, dif linear equation? No, right? S that is why this is a, the definition or an, a model of a linear equation. So if the power of the dependent variable is greater than 1, if, if it is 2, 3, 4 and so and so on, you don't get a linear equation if you plot y versus x. Okay, That's, that's how we discuss about linear equations when we were when we were in other classes. Now, how about in differential equations? This is what you have to wrap your head, head around. Now, in other equations, we discussed about linearity looking y versus x or dependent variable versus independent variable. But in differential equations, please digest this very well, okay? In differential equations, we do not look at y versus x. We do not look at dependent variable versus independent variable. We do not. Then, who contributes to the linearity? The one that we are considering in differential equations are y, that means the dependent variable, and among its all derivatives, all derivatives that you have in the equation, okay? All right, so I will keep put dots. Let's say you have an nth order differential equation and you have n derivatives. And what does this simply mean? We consider about, uh, consider y and its derivatives for linearity. Okay, now, Figuring out whether a differential equation is linear or nonlinear in the beginning, a little bit hard, okay? At least until a few days, until uh, a few examples. So let me give you three facts, three things that you should look for when you are deciding whether differential equation is linear or not. Okay, so what I'm going to show you here, look at this equation. Okay, it looks a little bit intimidating, but this 
is the definition or this is the model for a linear differential equation. This is how a linear differential equation look like. Okay, so you will be like uh, thinking now, just give me those three facts, right? Okay, so let me give you those three facts. Three things that you should watch out for. First thing, first thing come from our basic knowledge. We cannot have power greater than one. But power of who? In previous old equations that we learned, power of the independent variable. That means power of x. But here, we do not consider x for linearity. We consider y and its derivative. So what does that mean? y and its derivatives should not have power greater than 1. Should not have degree greater than 1. Okay? Now, don't mix up degree and order. Order doesn't matter for linearity. Don't even look at order. Number of times you have taken the derivative doesn't matter. But the oh, but the degree matters. Okay, degree means how many times you have multiplied by yourself. So let's look. Here y to the power 1. That's good. dy over dx to the power 1. Right? Here you have taken the n derivative, but the term is power is 1. Here you have taken the n derivative, but the power is 1. So power should be 1, then you have a linear differential equation. At least uh, the first condition is satisfied. So power should be 1. Okay, power of y and its derivatives. Do you care about having x cube, x to the 4? No, because we do not care about independent variable independent variable having great power greater than one doesn't matter it's okay then we do not consider that for linearity okay all right now the second thing is look at this equation carefully look at the coefficients of y and its derivatives we consider y and its derivatives because that is what we are interested about now, if you look at these functions name using A, they are only defined to be functions of only x. Remember, we have two variables here, y and x. But the coefficients, they say, well, I need coefficients only to be made using only x, only independent variable. So, the coefficients, so let me say C, C O coefficient should be only functions of x. Okay, I will show you an example, then you it will perfectly make sense. So just be with me. So power of y and its derivative should be one, coefficients should be only functions of x. Third thing, notice there's another term that we didn't consider. It's like sort of isolated, right? It's neither a coefficient of y. Or its derivative so let's call it the isolated function that is also only uh, created out of x see only inside 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 parenthesis you only have x so that means that function isolated so let's call it, call it non coefficient function is also only a function of x now x here is a general representation for independent variable okay so uh, only functions of independent variable so again the three things dependent variable and its derivatives should have power one is the order matter? No. Number of times you have taken derivative doesn't matter. The coefficients should be only functions of independent variable. Non-coefficient function is also only a function of independent variable. If you satisfy all three, then you have a linear differential equation. Okay. Otherwise, you have a non-linear one. So, let's look at this one. Now, as soon as you see this, you will say this is non-linear because x cube cosine natural log x but just be with me okay let's check those three things so let's first thing y and its derivatives should have power one here y to the power one dy over dx to the power one here the derivative the order is three but the power is one right so first condition satisfied look at the second condition coefficients what are the coefficients x cube plus 1, coefficient of dy over dx is negative 2, coefficient of uh, third derivative term is natural log x. Now look at, look at x cube plus 1. It is only made out of x. You have only used x. 
Negative 2, oh, I forgot constants are also fine, okay? Either functions of x or a constant. So, constant is also okay for linearity. As long as it's nothing to do with y, it's nothing of y. Natural log x, there's only x there, no y. So, the coefficients are only functions of x. So, second condition satisfied. Third condition, isolated function. What is the isolated function? Cosine x, right? So, e, so it's also only made out of x. So, that's the only function of x. So, then this is three conditions satisfied. This is a linear differential equation, okay? In next video, we are going to see lots of examples, all right? So, this is just an introduction. So, let me show you, let me create a one nonlinear example for you y y prime minus 2y is equal to 3x okay now powers first condition first power of y is 1 power of y prime is 1 prime means first derivative it's order no problem okay here y to the power 1 so first condition satisfied second condition look at the coefficient coefficient here is negative 2 coefficient of y prime here is y or coefficient of y is y prime there now the coefficient, one of the coefficients is a function of y. It's clearly y, made out of y, right? So then the second condition is violated because second condition said you have to have only functions of y, uh, x, independent variables as coefficients, right? But here we have y as a coefficient, which is, uh, which is y, which is dependent variable. So the second condition didn't satisfy. So this is a nonlinear differential equation. Okay. So little bit tricky to identify that until you really get comfortable with the concept. Okay. So in the next uh, video, we'll do a lot of examples. And because of that, I will see you in the next one. Thank you.